Bonjour, Frenchy ladies. Do you want to go from this to this in easy steps with what you already have in your wardrobe? Regardez-moi, I am over 60 and I have just as much get up and go as I used to at 30. Well, almost. So if you feel your get up and go has got up and gone, let's get chic. Sadly, this is a type of outfit that I see many women wear. It does absolutely nothing for you. It hides your best bits and creates worse bits. It does not make you feel beautiful. It, I think it probably sucks the life out of you. <laughs> Let's look at each individual piece and go from frumpy to fabulous. As soon as I put on this outfit, I just wanted to cry. I feel frumpy, I look frumpy, and really, I don't feel great. First of all, this top. The print, okay, you want to, to wear some color, and you think you, you go for purple. There's nothing wrong with the color per se. But look at the print. It looks like my old aunt's curtains from the 70s. This print is busy in color, in itself with the flowers. The neckline here has got a V-neck, that's nice, but it's a little bit floppy, doesn't hold up very well. Material is um, a little bit scratchy. The sleeve doesn't match the style of the blouse. It looks too strict, it would go more for a shirt. Also the shape, look at that, it's square. So it makes me square. Even if I tuck it, I don't even think it's an improvement. So this blouse is a complete, complete no. Next, the pants. So here's one I ditched earlier. <laughs> so again, the color purple, well, is the trend. Nothing wrong with that if you want to wear color, but just look at the shape. Square, wide, and cropped. So that is exactly the opposite of what I advise my ladies to wear, because that's going to make you wider and shorter, with short legs. And the set assistant was quite excited to show me that they've got ties. But I think that makes it even worse. That will transform them into pantaloons. A good feature, the pockets, but then again, we we'll have a drawstring. So it creates some kind of bulk, uh, as you can see here, over the blouse. Two pockets there, no. The crotch is gonna give you a, a bottom that is kind of um, loose and maybe flappy. Um, not something we want when we are over 50 and over 60. I give it a... Zero. And next, for the pièce de résistance, the shoes. I see so many women wearing that type of outfit with this type of shoe, because hey, they're comfortable. If it wasn't bad enough with the outfit, the whole outfit with these is just awful. I think those shoes makes your feet look like hobbit sweet. Not a good look. The top accessory that really can transform an outfit is the footwear. But in this case, nothing really can save the outfit. So I thought I would try this. Chic, elegant, simple, a little heel, comfortable. But it was still a no. Next, I tried these flat sandals because many of you prefer flat shoes. And they are comfortable. And again, they've got this black shape, very uh, chic. But again, it didn't save the outfit. Next, I try these. I call them my front busters. And really, that these were the best I could come up with. They tried their best, but even they could not save the outfit. So first of all, I want to get rid of those horrid, horrid shoes. I'd rather be barefoot than wearing these. So we're going to start with the trousers because they are much worse than the blouse. And I thought we could replace them with something off-white like this. So it could be a pair of white trousers or off-white in uh, cotton or linen, and these are jeans. So really, you have quite an array of choice. I chose these because they are wide legs, so you can see they can still wear wide legs, but they are longer, and you can wear them with flat shoes. I've changed the trousers. So let's see what's going on. What is the change? Why are they so much better than those purple pants. First of all, they are comfortable because we always want to be comfortable in the summer. So these are very comfortable, even though they have a rigid waistband. A rigid waistband does not mean that it's not comfortable. Just don't buy jeans that are too tight, that is all. If you think your jeans are too tight, buy the size above. Do not be afraid of sizing up so that your clothes fold better. They are wide-legged, you know, they are comfortable, they're not sticky because in the summer you don't want to wear 
you know, trousers that are too tight because it makes you sweat and perspire. And the legs are long, so you look taller and you look slimmer. If these same jeans were cropped, my legs would look short and therefore I would look wider. That's how it works. The off-white color contrasts with the blouse. And now, if I want to tuck in the blouse, it's going to look so much better. You see? So now, we can improve by changing the blouse. So I chose the blouse I'm going to wear with those trousers. If you want to go for flowers, at least choose a lovely floral. A floral that is feminine, modern and fresh. This one is really not fresh. It looks really passé, is, you know, next to your face. I don't know, it's not, look at the difference. By choosing something that is modern and fresh, you will look modern and fresh, therefore younger. So let's put it on. You've got a long v-neck, but you wear it a little bit towards the back. You can leave it loose like that, and depends also on the size of your bust. You can leave it like that or make a knot to keep it uh, so it, it doesn't move as much. But already, just look at the improvement. The floral is lovely, contains some light colors, a little bit of black for contrast. It really makes me look so much fresher and younger, more modern and, dare I say, full of life. And the sleeves, the sleeves are perfect for a blouse, as opposed to the others, they were really too strict and you couldn't put them up. So these, you can leave them longer, you can put them like that and make it a little bit poofy. The sleeves are long, a little bit transparent, so it makes you look more feminine, a little bit of sexy here. And also, you're not going to be perspiring because the air can go through, it's, it's a little bit, um, you know, there's space there. You know, that encased too tightly. Worn like this, it's, it's not styled. You can improve. So just do this. Begin it all in and just tuck it in. And you can see already how much better that looks. Suddenly, the look is fresh, modern, for spring, for summer. And a blouse like this, you can wear it with mostly everything. You can even contrast completely and wear it with a pair of black trousers if you wanted to. Also, let's not forget that these pieces are highly versatile. You can wear those off-white trousers with anything. And this blouse also is versatile. You can wear with almost any skirt or trousers. Completely opposite to the purple outfit, where really it was mainly standalone. So you see, by choosing better, it gives you so many more options. Your clothes are versatile and they make you look beautiful. So now, these sandals. I like them, the black with the trousers, they create a contrast with the trousers, but they're still in harmony with the black of the floral blouse. Next, we have black sandals again, but they are flat. Just to show you that you can wear a little heel or flats if you want to. And next, my front busters. These are absolutely gorgeous. And now for the finishing touches. Little pearls. And now for the best chic accessory, a smile. If you enjoy those small steps that can transform your style instantly, you will love discovering the 10 style mistakes that can make you look frumpy. Showing on screen now.